Hi there, I'm Trisha Huffman, your joyologist, and I call bullshit on wanting to be a good person. <laughs> I know you're like, where is she going with this? Hang in there with me. A couple weeks back, months maybe, who knows when, I made a video calling bullshit on your transactional relationships, actives, motives, meaning you do things with the expectation of getting something in return. If I help this one person, they'll help me in return. So to noticing where you're putting yourself in that. What I've become more and more and more aware of recently is how the desire to be seen as a good person, the desire to be known as a good person, to be seen and known as a good friend, is a compassionate person, whatever it is. When you are doing things with the motive of being a good person, I'm doing this because I'm a good person. Not even if you think I want them to think I'm a good person, just I am saying yes, I'm volunteering, I'm gonna drop by with a gift for them, I'm gonna send them flowers, I'm gonna do this for them, I'm gonna share this post, I'm gonna invite this person on my podcast, whatever it may be, because I'm a good person is not actually fucking cutting it. <laughs> you want to be purely motivated because you want to do something. You want to speak up. You want this information to get out there. You want to send a gift. You want to elevate that person. You want to be generous. So checking in with your motivations. Why are you doing this? Are you returning the text because I'm a good friend or because I want to? I'm not telling you to stop doing good things and nice things and being generous and to reply to people's texts, but to check in from where you are coming from because that will make your energy, your actions, your words, who you are and what you're being and doing and offering in the world clean and clear and you will truly show up as the person you want to be seen as, when you are being motivated because by you want to do this, you want to do this without getting anything else in return. Meaning I will do this, I will offer this, I will send this to this person, I will share this, and it does not matter if I get anything in return from it. Even a thank you. That's hard for me too. Sometimes I'm like, where is my thank you? I can't believe that person didn't even thank me. I was motivated completely by wanting to do this, to give this, to offer this, but I will get tugged at, did they really never thank me? And so then though you get that opportunity again to see why did I do this? Because I wanted to thank you, because I wanted them to think of me as a good person or because I actually wanted to. So it can pull you out of all those bullshit emotions around why didn't they thank me, show up for me, whatever it is. Because the reality is they probably are so grateful for you, they just forgot to thank you because they're busy with life. That usually it's not about you, right? So that's why I'm telling you, I call bullshit on wanting to be a good person and always check in with why am I doing this? Where is this coming from? Am I stuck in a why didn't they do this for me, see me, thank me? Well, why did I do whatever it was? Because I wanted to, not because I was expecting something in return. Even if that expectation was, I want them to think I'm a good person. I want them to like me. I want them to accept me. Those are still transactions. So show up because you want to. Share things because you want to. Do things because you want to, because you feel it in your heart. It's gonna save you a lot of stress, worry, bullshit, and other things. <laughs> Check out all my videos, find me at Your Joyologist, and make sure to watch my weekly podcast, Claim It.